Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to take a simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS and we will create with the help of surface tool and here we will learn some basic surface tools like lufted boss base, then field surface, net surface, trim surface. So let us see how to make this simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS. Exercise 117 in SOLIDWORKS surface tutorial. In surfacing tool, we are going to create each and every curve separately like this in top view, we will make this separate, this line also separate and here you will see this line also separate in top view, it is front view, in top view, this both the lines we will make separate so that we will get a perfect shape in surface. So here we will start with top plane, 115 is the curve, 30 millimeter from center line. 185 is the tangent line which is touched to the top and 183 is the length. 108 is, is the reference point from origin so that our geometry will be fully defined. Okay, these two we will make separate, then this one we will make separate. 150, see here, 94 millimeter here. Then we will cut later this one. First, let me choose top plane, a sketch, corner rectangle. Now, 85, tap, 183, enter. Now, click here for construction purpose. See? One hundred eight. It is the reference point. If it is moving, so it is not coincide. Hold Shift key. Coincide relation. That's it. Now click here. Three point arc. We will connect these two. Select these two tangent. Okay. Now define this distance. Thirty. And this arc radius 150 exit now in the same way again we will make top plane same sketch click this one hold shift key this one convert entity now select okay let's mirror entities construction i'll select both mirror entity see it is mirror now I will choose this one construction geometry but because we already make in sketch 1 exit. Now here we have two separate sketch. In surfacing tutorial it is important. Now let us come to top plane, oh, sorry front plane sketch. Again we will try to create this. Now here 94 tap 183 for construction say yes now again move it okay this is fixed here so distance from here to here 108 curve three point curve now this point from here to here is 43, 150, the same thing we need to apply here, and let us make relation tangent, see the drawing is fully defined exit. Now here also we need to close. So first we need to create a plane. First reference plane drop down menu and choose right plane. This is suitable for this. In second reference click this point. See it is going to create a plane, a sketch. Now choose your ellipse. Now select this center point, connect to this point, 
let me choose line i'll connect from here to here because i want to trim this half circle trim entity keep power power trim just move and trimmed now here make one relation hold shift key and select these two points coincide see the drawing is fully defined no need to give any dimension say yes hide now here we can create one geometry right click taps surfaces first operation we will do looped surface now here click near to end point so that all points in one position now here we have one guided curve but this is closed geometry so right click selection manager here choose open loop and i'll choose okay let me choose first okay that's fine it is a open loop actually say okay now look it took the perfect shape now here the next step we are going to cut this one 366 62 and this is distance 108 mm this is the origin point reference we will create this then we will trim this portion front plane is sketch now we will choose to circle now this one let's say show hold shift key and click this point go inside that's it now let's move this one sixty two three sixty six now select this two tangent this is important and this relation also important vertical let me choose a line from here to this point now let's try trim entity three power trim undo now make this line convert entities now click construction line trim entity now trim see now it is balanced here and rest all already trimmed and this one also trim so this is the perfect shape what we like exit now let me hide this okay this is the main geometry go to surface and here choose trim surface now sketch already selected what we created now keep selection my standard see if you move your cursor there is two geometry you are going to see so i'll choose this one look okay now see hide now let's close this geometry this one right click show filled surface because this is closed geometry so we need to show it okay now look now you can hide it <coughs> now let's create this oblong holes 9 r8 r7 r6 r5 then the length 50 45 40 40 40 3 and the gap between these two 15 mm and one reference point is this second one 
108 millimeter from origin point or from the end of these things okay so let's create and trim we will use top plane a sketch now let's first draw a center line center point is straight slot let me create here total 5 number of things now make all are vertical first see you can see the green line it's vertical now let's define the gap first 15 mm fifteen millimeter and this line is lies on this origin point because this is your distance no this is your hundred and eight millimeter is main distance or reference distance R nine R8, R6, sorry, R7, R6 and this is R5. The vertical length 45, 40, these two are, two are 40 and the last one is 35. See drawing is fully defined exit now let's use trim surface sketch already selected see this sketch already selected trim tool is standard keep selection or remove selection if you move your cursor it is keep selection choose this one and this is going to remove look The last operation we will do net because if you saw there is one two bodies so make one oh, sorry net surface this two gap is this is the minimum gap now thickness is one millimeter thickness 1 millimeter let me choose there now see this is moving both side let's move downward okay so this is how we did a simple exercise in solidworks with the help of surface tool i hope you like it okay we forget to add one more thing there is a variable size fillet r15 at top r77 at bottom fillet i'll choose here variable size fillet and i'll choose outer edge now here instances number of keep one so that we will get only one instant at this point the first one seven the the upper one you will see unassigned 15 the uh, another and 7 say yes okay let's this also assign color so i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching